free code camp, JavaScript to algos and data structures, basic JavaScript, challenge 99 of 113. So today, it looks like we're going to continue with loops. We are, yes, counting backwards with the for loop. So if you didn't watch the previous for loop videos, check them out. If you haven't done the previous challenges on free code camp, go do those and then check my other videos if you get stuck. But this is really something that's fundamental to programming and coding as a whole. Uh, so I would recommend trying to get comfortable with these and really understand what's happening here and what the three different parts of the loop are. So in this this one, uh, all we're going to do is push the odd numbers from 9 through 1 into the my array with the for loop. So we have the my array here, and we're going to push 9, 9, 7, 5, 3, and then 1 into the array, okay? So we can do that with a loop, so we don't have to just push, have 9 different lines of code to do that, or 5 different lines of code to do that. We can just do that with a uh, loop. So we can say let i equals 9. So we're going to start at 9 and we're going to go backwards. And while i is greater than or equal to 1, right, because we want i to be 9, 7, 5, 3, 1, and then exit once it goes below 1. And then we want to subtract 2 every time. So we can say i minus equals 2. Same as saying i minus, or i equals i minus 2. Um, this is just shorthand and kind of a better way of doing it. And then we're going to open this up with curly brackets, and this is where we put the code that we want to execute in a loop. So over and over, this will execute. So we can say my array dot push, and we want to push i into it, because i will be 9, then 7, and then 5, and so forth. So again, setting up our initialization, setting up i, the condition that has to be true until it is false, then the loop will continue. Once it's false, the loop will stop. Uh, and then what we want to happen at the end of every iteration. So we'll iterate i. At the end of every loop, we'll iterate i. Okay, so that should be all we have to do for that one. And um, if we console log, let's see if this actually works, because this is a sandbox, so it might not. I. So as you can see, i is going in the first loop. It is 9, and then it checks the condition. It's 7 subtracts 2, checks the condition, it's 5, it's 3, checks the condition, it's 1, checks the condition, and then it becomes negative 1, and then it checks the condition and it is false, so it exits and does not push that negative 1. So that's all we have to do for that one, guys. Hope that made sense. Hope that helped. I hope to see you guys in the next video.